Kenya, uh, which is part of the East African uh, country, has a legitimate and timely opportunity uh, to offer leadership to the African Union. Uh, if you go into the past since the African Union was uh, uh, set up, the first uh, the, the, the we've had uh, about two leaders from the West African bloc uh, who have held that position. We have had leadership from South Africa. You know, there was Connery and there was Ping from the West African bloc. Then we had uh, Madame Zuma from the South African bloc. Then we have uh, um, the current uh, chair, uh, Faki, Mohamed, Mahmoud Faki, who is from Central Africa. So if you go alphabetically, uh, then you can see the strategic advantage that is now coming towards the East African uh, region. And that is why we uh, say that we have an opportunity as a region. Um, the rest is campaign strategy. Uh, and I will not want to divulge our campaign strategy. Uh, but we are thinking very seriously about it. And uh, we want to work collectively uh, as a country. Uh, so that East Africa can have an opportunity to, 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 to look at these challenges. As you know, Africa is facing a lot of challenges, a lot of conflict. Uh, in fact, uh, one can simply say that uh, if we look at it statistically, uh, without underplaying or downplaying the challenges in other parts of the world, Africa has more displaced people than all those other regions that have challenges. Uh, Africa has more schools that have been disrupted than those other regions. Africa has almost a hundred million children out of school because of those challenges. Africa is facing a very serious food security challenge because of these conflicts. So there is a problem. Democracy is under threat in several African countries. Now these are issues that require focus and attention by the Africans themselves. And I believe that is what East Africa would like to offer uh, going forward in terms of what can we do. Uh, because when you listen to the debate, even Africans are talking more about the conflicts outside Africa than the conflicts in Africa. Africans themselves are concentrating more on conflicts outside Africa than conflicts in Africa. But when you look at the statistics, it shows you that the crisis is much bigger in Africa. And that is where we should give uh, adequate attention. While at the same time still taking cognizance of the global challenge. But let Africans also look internally and see what can be done to stem the crisis in Africa. Thank you. Jambo ambalo pia tunataka tu angazie ni kuona maendeleo ya lamu iko vipi na kuna mpango kama hule wa affordable housing serikali ya lamu imetenga ekari tano ili wajenge nyumba karibu mia inne hivi ambazo zita pewa watu wa lamu wapate nafasi ya kuwa na affordable housing kuna ile jeti mpya ambayo imejengwa 
na KPA na hivi karibuni wakishamaliza uh, mambo kidogo ambayo yameasalia watapeana kwa serikali ya uh, county government ya Lamu ili wawe wakisimamia uh, hiyo jeti tunataka pia uh, kama serikali tuangazie vile lapset port itaimarishwa hivi majuzi mmeona kumekuwa na matatizo hapa na pale katika eneo letu la Horn of Africa uh, kwa sababu katika bara la Afrika kuna mataifa karibu 16 ambayo yako landlocked yani hayana nafasi uh, ya kuwa na coastal line kwa hivyo yanategemea yale mataifa ambayo yako na coastline kuimarisha uchumi wao na kuwasaidia kuinua maisha ya watu wao. Kwa hivyo Lapset ni corridor ambayo ni ya muhimu sana 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 katika eneo hii ili mataifa ambayo ni majirani lakini hayana uwezo ama hayana nafasi kuwa na coastline kama Ethiopia kama South Sudan tunataka Lapset uh, imarishwe kwa sababu hapo ndio tutapata uchumi tukienda uh, siku za mbeleni na mimi najua kwamba rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya amefanya uh, majadiliano sana na P prime minister wa Ethiopia na rais wa South Sudan kwamba huu muradi ambao ni wa Lapset uh, ni vizuri kabisa uimarishwe ili uanze kusaidia watu kwa hivyo tukienda mbele tunaona mambo yako sawa sana katika uh, eneo la Lamu. Tunataka tuchangie mambo ya kielimu, ukulima, tumeelezwa mambo ya pamba ambayo inakuzwa hapa. Kuna wale wanataka kuweka factories za korosho hapa. Na haya ni mambo mazuri ambayo tunaanza kuona kwa county uh, ya Lamu. Kwa hivyo mimi ni kwa sihi tu kwamba tukiwa hapa kama wa Kenya nyinyi ndio front line yetu nyinyi ndio wale mtu tusimamia mbele ili eneo hii tubadilishe kabisa lakini la muhimu tuwe na utulivu na hali ya amani ndio haya yote ambayo tunazungumza uh, yatendeke kwa hivyo tunatoa shukrani na pongezi tena kwa county uh, government ya Lamu biashara ni muhimu mambo ya uvuvi the green economy ni mambo ya muhimu na pia nataka ni ungane na uh, governor kwa sababu tukiangalia hapa nyuma ni kuna kibao kinasoma UNESCO uh, heritage site na governor amezunguza sana kuhusu the, the stone wall ambayo na kinga this uh, uh, historic area Ningependa kuwasihi wana vyombo vya habari mkishamaliza kutohoji kidogo eh, ni vizuri mutembezwe muone kwamba hiyo wall eh, ni kitu ambacho ni lazima sasa tuwe tunashughulikia because it can be dangerous to the lives and to this valuable heritage if over time kwa sababu ya mambo ya climate change na nini hi huu ukuta unaanza ku, kukatika katika kwa hivyo ni vizuri wakati tunamaliza i think give it some attention so that uh, people can see that we need to mobilize resources both locally and internationally uh, to safeguard this wall because it can be a, the source of a disaster if we are not careful uh, going into the future, not just for the historical aspect of it, but it can even cost human lives uh, uh, going forward. Kwa hivyo, hilo ni jambo balo pia, I thought we need to, to highlight uh, at this particular moment. But, na watakia heri, watu walamu, tunataka wa imarike, mimi ni kama mwenyeji, mimi murudi hapa mara kwa mara, uh, mungu akinijalia, mutaniona tena, na haswa wakati mnakuwa na ule utamaduni wa watu wa Lamu asante sana